ordering. Hey, decimals, come out here in a nice orderly line. I said orderly, sir, yes, sir. We already know how to compare two decimal numbers and put them in order from least to greatest, comparing place values from left to right, and replacing the empty place values with zeros for easier comparison, and working until we can tell which number is greatest. Why do we need to order decimals? Is it because we're really bossy and we like to tell them what to do? Let's look at a real life example to find out why ordering decimals is important. Take, for example, the solar system. It's easy to think that we are the biggest planet when the Earth seems huge to us. But there are several other planets in our solar system of varying size. How can we know which ones are bigger and which ones are smaller than Earth? We can do even better than that and sort them by size. Since we're comparing everything to Earth, I'm going to use Earth as one whole, 100% of our planet. Mars is 53 hundredths of Earth. Uranus is the size of four Earths. Mercury is 38 hundredths of Earth. Venus is 95 hundredths of Earth. And Neptune is the size of 3.88 Earths, or 3 and 88 hundredths Earths. To compare the planets, Let's start by recording all of our numbers. Order doesn't matter at this step. 1 for Earth, 53 hundredths for Mars, 4 for Uranus, 38 hundredths for Mercury, 95 hundredths for Venus, and 3 and 88 hundredths for Neptune. Our first step of comparing decimals is to rewrite the numbers vertically, lining up the numbers by decimal point. It doesn't matter which order you write them in for this step. Our second step is to fill any empty place value holes with zeros to make the numbers easier to compare. Our third step is to start looking from the left, covering the remaining place values to the right with a paper. When I'm looking only at the ones column, I can easily see that four is the biggest number. I'm going to move my paper down so I can see the rest of my number before I write it in order. When we order decimals, we always write them from least to greatest, unless otherwise instructed. I know that four ones is the greatest number of all, so I'm going to write it all the way to the right, under the word greatest, and then cross it off my big vertical list. I know that four ones is the biggest number, but before I move my paper, can I learn anything else from the ones column about which numbers are biggest? Yes! I see that three ones is now the biggest value, since four has been crossed out. I move my paper up to see the entire number before writing it on the number line to the left of four. I cross it off my list and see if there are any remaining clues in the ones column. Sure enough, when four and three are crossed out, I see that one group of ones is the biggest number left. The rest all have zeros in the ones place. I move my paper to see the whole number, and then write it to the left of my other values. Don't forget to cross it out. Since all the remaining numbers in the ones column are zeros, I'm going to need to look at the next place value to the right, the tenths. In the tenths place, I quickly see that nine tenths is the biggest value. I move my paper to see the whole number, and then write it to the left of the previous values. Cross it out and check for more clues in the tenths. There are only two numbers left, and five-tenths is the biggest value out of those two. Slide down your paper to see the whole number, and then record it on your number line to the left of your previous values. Our final number is the smallest and goes all the way to the left, where the least value goes. Check to make sure you have the whole number before writing it on the line and then cross the last one off your list. Now you can see that with my four rules for ordering decimals, I have easily turned what looks like an overwhelming column of numbers into an orderly line increasing from least to greatest. I'm positive I recorded all of the values since I crossed them out along the way. Now we can see the planets we looked at today ordered from least to greatest, with Mercury being the smallest and Uranus being the biggest. These planets sure aren't equal sizes. Let's look at a visual model to see these differences to scale.
Now you know. Next time you need to order some decimals or tell some planets how big they really are, you can always use your trusty four rules of ordering decimals. First, rewrite vertically, lining up the numbers by decimal points. Second, fill in any empty place value holes with zeros. Third, start from the left, covering the other place values with a paper. And finally, order the decimals on a line from least to greatest. Now that you have the tools to order decimals, what else in the world can you order?